got no, we've got two engines of the four that are on, and they're both on one single side. So, don't yell at me. I'm doing my best here. Alright, we've got the flat tires. Don't forget about the flat tires. What's up guys, this is multi 24 gaming and I am here with another flight simulator walkthrough. Now this is with this plane, uh, it should be pretty much the same as the others, uh, it's mo the most general plane of them all. Um, this is the default plane that you start with in the free version, and uh, look at it, it's shiny, and it's new looking, and it's got Rotorus on it, which is the flight engine, and it's amazing. Um, this new update has just purified everything and it's extreme landings is going to become a great game so it's a great investment um so you should definitely get it uh hopefully it goes on sale though like i let some people know it was like extreme landings is 10 cents right now on sale like wh i don't know how that happened it was like 10 cents on uh the micro the, like the micro store or the microsoft store so let people know and some people message me back they're like thank you so much i love you so much because i just got this game for 10 cents anyway we're gonna do with a flight simulator okay we're gonna have high failure rate and we are going to pick where we're gonna fly from okay so we're gonna reset to zero and let's see where should we fly from we could do florida uh how about we do somewhere in africa we haven't done that yet yeah those are too far apart Everything's so far apart here. It'll be, it would take a long time. How about these islands here? Why not? Let's go from one island to the other. Let's go from there to there. Alright. Otherwise, people would have to take a boat. and No one wants to do that. Alright, so random weather. We're going to go from there, and I'm going to walk you through what we're supposed to do. Alright, so we have started here. We're on this island on the off the coast of like Senegal or something like that in Africa. Um, and what we're going to begin doing is we're going to start with turning our engines on. As you can see, it's refueling, um, but we've got enough fuel to get there, so there's no need to worry about that. If you do a multi-stage uh, flight, then you'll need to wait for it to refuel, or either that or you'll run out of fuel like we did in our last video um, in that big fat cargo plane. Nobody likes that. Regardless, um... What you do is you click this, right? You click one, and then you go over here for one and hold it down, and you started up the first engine. Now, what I usually do is I use my hotkeys, right? So I've got uh, hotkeys for each of them on my keyboard because I'm on a I'm on a Mac. Um, if you're on an iOS device, you would just tap it with your finger. Um, but uh, here we have these different things. So I'm going to use Y, U, I, and O, and then use the uh, keys underneath it, H, J, K, and L, to turn them all at the, on at the same time. Just because I like to do that. Alright. Uh, don't mess with these. Uh, they will extinguish your uh, engines, and that never is good. Especially, unless your engine's on fire, which does happen, trust me. Um, don't mess with these. Uh, these are the throttles for each of the engines, but they will. They, each one is the throttle for only one engine. And what you want is the, the master throttle for all of the engines. Alright, so... What's that? It's kind of quiet in here. Wow. I like this cockpit. It's nice. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to start. Alright, so hold down Q, which is my thing. We're going to... Oh boy, yep. Let's go. This plane usually likes to take off around 170, 180 knots, depending on how many passengers and luggage is on it. Um, but we'll see what it likes right now. We're going to put the flaps down to two. Uh, to do that, you'll go to um, landing and pull the flaps down. My hotkey is just um, is the minus symbol. So yeah, we'll just take off. This seems to be working fairly well. Nice, smooth takeoff. We're going to go here, put our flaps up. Perfect. We are on our way. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to autopilot here. Uh, we're going in the opposite direction we want to. So as you can see, uh, it should give us an error. Okay, 123. So this is the uh, degrees, and we're going to go to 123. And that should turn the plane right around uh, into the direction we want to go. Now we're going to take the altitude up to about 4,000 feet because that's pretty safe. And we're going to be above the ocean anyway, so it won't be a problem. Uh, actually, 
Let's put it up to 8,000 because I'd feel more comfortable with it being higher up in case an engine goes offline or something like that. We're going to set the speed all the way up for the sake of it. <clears throat> and now we can't mandatorily uh, change the speed and stuff as you can see. It doesn't do anything uh, because our um, because our autopilot uh, has uh, got um, priority here. But we are on our way. As you can see the map, we are headed in the direction of uh, where we're supposed to go. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up time and hopefully when we get an alarm, I'll turn the time right off because we don't want an engine blowing up extremely quickly. One's bound to happen soon. Oh, there we go. The tires. Okay, good. We turned the time off. Uh, it appears that the tires are going to be flat when we land. So, um, yeah, that's that's actually kind of fun because you skid all over the place. I apologize for how loud the engine is. Um, it is an airplane engine. But, uh, it sounds kind of cooler in here. It's got some weird music in the background, too. Anyway. Alright. So, let's go, let's see, to... We've got our fuel looks fine. Uh, auxiliary power, we don't need that. Engines, wings, gears, that's fine, too. Uh, gear. Let's check our uh, navigation. As you can see, we're a little bit off of course there, so what we're going to actually do is we're going to go up to autopilot and um, change that a bit. Well, it doesn't actually look like we need to. We'll change it to single degrees. Boom. Perfect. Alright, we've changed course to single degrees. And, uh, new alarm? Nope, just still yelling at us about the tires. Uh, you'll be able to see these change when we screw with them. So you can see, they'll change accordingly. Uh, but right now, autopilot's got complete control over the aircraft, so, um, yeah. Okay. Okay, looks like we've got an engine that's deciding to go offline a little bit. Uh, does it say anything here? Maybe it will tell us. Uh, where does it let us know about the engines? Anyway, I can hear a difference in the sound. So we're gonna just turn this one off. Actually, actually no, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it on. But, well... Yeah, no, it's gonna blow up pretty soon. Let's just not mess with it. Turn it off. So we got two engines going on this side then, and two engines going on this side. Uh, that should be fine. This one's off, as you can see, on the outside of the aircraft. And there's our tail. Isn't it nice? Look at it. Do 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 do. Okay. And we're just going over the ocean right now. So. Yep. Everything appears to be proper and good. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna speed up the time again. Okay. And hopefully uh, we don't get it. All right. We're gonna walk. Okay. ASI which means our auxiliary unit seems to be down a little bit, so we're going to go out of here. Uh, auxiliary unit, auxiliary, let's see if it shows us here where the problem is. Um, auxiliary, I need to be able to read this. Uh, no, okay, let's just go here. It's in. All right, yeah, it looks like we're losing fuel a little bit. So we're going to transfer some of our fuel over. And let's see if it decides to just leak out. Yeah, look at it go down. It's going to leak out. So I think what's going to end up happening is we're going to lose both engines on this side. Um, yeah. Looks like we're just coming up to land here. Alright, yeah, we're completely out of gas. So, um, yeah, our en this, we've got a leak over here, and there's really no way to solve that. So we're just going to turn this off, too. And now we've just got these two uh, engines on. Does it appear like we're going down? Or... No, we're maintaining a good altitude of about 8,000 feet. Um, we are, I think, flying to the opposite side of this island, though. Let's check. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to speed up time, and hopefully one of our... Uh, nothing happens that, uh, 
blows up the airplane quickly. As you can see down here, we're speeding up time, so we're going way faster than usual. Almost there. And we should begin getting ready for our descent. Alright, and about there. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn all these off by just clicking on them, because uh, we want to be able to have control over our aircraft again. There, as you can see. Um, and now let's attempt to spot the airport. Uh, it's there somewhere. Oh, there it is. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Alright, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, uh... We're gonna land this way. We're gonna begin our descent by, well, not the air brake. Alright, our air brake is down. Let's attempt, uh... Alright, we've got full reverse. That's good, but our air brake is down, which is a vital a component in when, uh, you want to, um... You want to slow down? That was a weird glitch. We're going to land now. We've got some serious issues, and let's not forget that our tires are flat. What's this? View. Oh. I just used tab for that. Okay, on our way down. put our flaps all the way down. I just use the hotkey that is a uh, minus. Let's do that. Gear down. I forgot we don't have our air brake. There's no reason to even hold that. All right. This is going to be a pretty hard landing. All those people who are like, oh, screw you, you're not landing properly, you're supposed to put the back landing gear down first. Well, screw you. This is, we're, we, we, we've got no, we've got two engines of the four that are on, and they're both on one single side. So, don't yell at me. I'm doing my best here. Alright, we've got the flat tires, don't forget about the flat tires. So we're going to be skidding around, like, craziness. Oh boy, we're going to lose a tire, we're going to lose a tire. No, it's going onto the gravel. Oh, that was close. Alright. Oh shoot! There we're gonna do it. We're gonna we're gonna stop. We have no uh, we have no back brake, so there we are. Whoa whoa whoa! What's happening? Why is why did my plane do that? Shoot! We did it. Except our plane is pointing in the opposite direction that we landed in. Okay. Well, in that case, that was interesting. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I, I won't, I'm, well, I'm trying to think here. I had, did do a video for a flight simulator walkthrough, um, but what I may do is, uh, make a second one, actually. Uh, since it is a year later, and my voice is much more masculine than it was back then! Anyway, um, we'll see. Yeah, I think I will for the sake of it. Because I've done every single one of them. Why not do the last one? And just like, hey guys, I'm less of a loser now. Please watch this one. Alright, anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you next time.